Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, this is EJ Joyful Plans, and today we are pre-decorating my health, wellness, fitness spread for the week of, well, the last week of January. I had an idea for today, and that is to use, I did move a bunch of my Mambi sticks into this kind of sticker holder, um, and I kept the backs of them or the, you know, in the packaging, on the back of the packaging, it's got like pictures of all of the uh, sheets that are in there. Um, I, or the stickers in there. I thought I would use Mambi sticks today. I'm really on a big Mambi sticks kick right now. And I do have the wrong, wrong fitness ones. So I was thinking, I, I have an idea. We'll see how it works. Um, but if you want to see how the wrong, wrong Mambi sticks fit into my classic size, uh, fitness planner for this week, then you know the drill, guys. Just keep watching and let's plan. Hey guys, voiceover Elizabeth here. The first thing I'm doing is figuring out where I want the wrong, wrong girls to hang out, and I'm widening out the area so that the lines don't show up underneath because it is a transparent sticker. Before I lay the sticker down, I realized that I want my step count boxes to be underneath them almost to look like they're coming out of the step boxes. So I laid those stickers down first and that will give me a bit of a guideline for where I'm going to put the wrong, wrong girls. And for some reason I was just feeling gold today. It seems like a lot of planners steer clear of foil in spreads that they put on social media because it is really difficult to take pictures of foiling. But I just, you know, this is for me and I wanted gold this upcoming week. So I laid the sticker down with the gals and I like the way that they look kind of coming out of those gold boxes. And so I go to the other page and I am putting the gold boxes down there as well. The next thing I'm gonna do is try to find Mambi sticks that would work on that left side of the page. I don't want it to be too matchy matchy, but I want it to be somewhat coordinated. And there are a lot of really cool fitness related stickers from that Wrong Wrong Fitness book or uh, Mambi Stick Pack. And so I pull out some of those just to get some inspo. Ultimately, I choose the girl in the yellow tank top because I feel like she's looking like deep into my soul. She's making eye contact with me and I feel like that's extra accountability this week. Uh, otherwise, I was going to pick the gal that was the boxer, but she wasn't, she wasn't looking at me. She was looking away and I feel like I need someone st staring at me saying, girl, you better get moving. I'm watching you. Plus, she's cute and she's, you know, got some body goals. So I thought, you know. That would be good motivation this week. I also wanted to put in a big quote to kind of mirror the location of the wrong, wrong girls on the other side. And I had first picked out that um, healthy looks different on everybody, but the shape of it was kind of strange. And so I liked that the best project um, you'll ever work on is yourself. I like the shape of that. And I feel like it fits into that middle section really well. So I've widened out the rows just like I did on the other side. And I very crookedly, <laughs> for having to figure out where to put it, I end up placing it crooked. So it happens, guys. It is what it is. Uh, and then, of course, I have to get some sort of fitness-related icons in there. And, you know, sometimes I'll lay a sticker down and cut away with an X-Acto knife while the sticker is placed on the paper. But for some reason today, I really was just feeling pre-cutting the stickers and then whatever angle I cut them at, it's just the angle they're going to have to be. I did that with these weights. I don't necessarily recommend that you do this, but because I knew it was going on a corner, I basically cut a 90 degree angle out of the sticker so I could just place it in like a puzzle piece. Again, I don't do it regularly. I'm not sure that I would recommend it unless you're certain of angles, um, but but it works if you're wanting to kind of get through a spread more quickly and don't want to have to deal with detailed cutting with an X-Acto knife. The next thing I'm doing is trying to figure out where to place these gold boxes. This is where I'm going to log my physical activity this week. I very much would like to move with intention every day this upcoming week. I had mentioned that in my health spread from last week that I wanted to move with intention or intentionally move my body uh, every day. And I have to admit, I actually did not do that. Uh, the weather was terrible and I was feeling really nauseous one of the days. So there's a good three days where I did not 
go for a walk, but I am not going to be hard on myself. It's a new week and I can just start again and make that right decision every day. So I am putting the boxes in so that they kind of haunt me and keep me accountable to moving every day the um, this upcoming week. I felt like there was a lot of white still on the page, so I grabbed a really soft pink Tombow pen, and I'm gonna use this to mark off lines in the boxes down below. That's where I track all of the fun data that comes from my Apple Watch. So I, I head it up with my steps, and then I put the amount of sleep I got, the calories I've burned, active minutes, information like that. And to add more color, I put a pink header on the top of all of the boxes to put what the activity was, and some lines on that left margin just for additional information. All right, guys, we're done. What do you think? I'm so thankful this week for Mambi Sticks. I, honestly, if you ever are having a moment or a day where you're just not feeling a lot of creative juices flowing, you can totally use Mambi Sticks and they cover a good amount of space. They're highly decorative and it basically takes the guesswork out of it. So this has everything I need for the week. I've got my squares up here or colorful boxes for the activity that I'm going to do. I have the bottom down here for my fitness watch stats. And then I've got some space over here for any goals or any notes I want to take for the week. So there you go. There it is. If you have any questions or comments, of course, you are welcome to leave them in the comment box down below. And um, until next time, guys, God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. Do something active, something healthy for your body. And until I see you next time, come hang out with me over on the gram, EJJoyful underscore plans. It's a good time. I love hanging out with the planner community during the week there. So um, go find me over there. I will see you guys in my next video. Cheers.